Dear students, in this module, we're going to discuss the UPGMA. So as you know, UPGMA is one of the algorithms that is used to construct phylogenetic trees. So phylogenetic trees are very useful in helping us understand the evolutionary history of sequences or species. So therefore, to construct the phylogenetic trees, we need a technique or an algorithm that is easy and programmable. So to start with, several algorithms exist and the two general approaches include the clustering approach and the objective-based methods. So here, we'll start with the UPGMA that is essentially unweighted pair group method using arithmetic averages. So this very long name can simply be used as an acronym UPGMA. So let's start looking at what this algorithm does for us. So in order for us to compute the distance between two sequences, we need to see what is the distance between those sequences. The distance can be calculated simply by a pairwise sequence alignment. So here, for instance, if you have a sequence X, ACTG, ACTG, and so on, and another sequence Y, CTGA, CTGA, like that, then you would want to first perform a pairwise sequence alignment on these two sequences. So once you perform a pairwise sequence alignment, then this will help you compute the distance between these two sequences. So the distance equation that we use to create clusters in the phylogenetic tree is given here. So if you have sequence X and Y creating a cluster Z, that is X and Y giving rise to a cluster that is this entire tree, then the distance between Z, that is this tree, and some other tree can be computed by simply distance between Z and W. So in this case, let's consider W to be a sequence. So here is W. So now you want to compute the distance between Z and W. Here you go. So the number of sequences in X, so that is 1. Number of sequences in Y, that is 1 sequence. And the distance between X and W, and the distance between Y and W, using the pairwise sequence alignment distance matrix, and dividing them by the sum of the number of sequences within X and Y. So this will help you compute the distance between two sequences or two clusters or one cluster and one sequence. Next, in the UPGMA, two things are performed separately. One is the distance between sequences and second is the distance between trees. So, let's see how the distance between the trees work. So, the distance between two trees X and Y can be computed like this. Number of sequences in X, number of sequences in Y multiplied by the sum of all the distances between I and J such that I belongs to X and J belongs to Y. So, this is pretty simple to observe but let's see how it looks like by an example. So, let's consider six sequences which may be nucleotide sequences or amino acid sequences. So, we have six sequences and we perform their pairwise sequence alignment. Here you go. So, A is aligned with B, C, D and E. So, the distance 
is written here. Similarly, B is aligned with A, C, D, E, and F. So the distance between them is written here. And you continue repeating this by aligning C with all others as well until you have created all pairwise sequence alignments and this exercise will give you the distance matrix. So this is the distance matrix Dij where you can easily read that the distance between A and B is 6 and the distance between A and D is just 1. So obviously by looking at this matrix you can understand that D and A are very similar because the distance is the smallest. The next closest is A and E because their distance is 2. Similarly, D and E also have a distance of 2. But we have to consider the smallest distance. So, A and D are selected. So, next we make a tree like this. So, the height is 0 0.5. 0 0.5 so 0 0.5 plus 0 0.5 will be equal to 1 so if you want to measure the distance between a and d so this is equal to 1 here on the vertical axis you can clearly see that the height of this tree is 0 0.5 so let's call this tree as v so the cluster a and d is now V. So since A and D became a new cluster V, we have to modify the distance matrix. So by combining the distance matrix with V, we need to compute the distance between V and B, V and C, V and E, V and F because A and D is eliminated. So this entire row will be eliminated. So let's see how it looks. So here is your distance matrix and the distance formula that we discussed earlier, the distance between two clusters is distance between V and B. So number of sequences in A, so that is one sequence only. Number of sequences in D is also one. So here you go one and 1. So the distance between A and B is 6. So here you got 6. Similarly the distance between D and B is also 6. And then the same one goes here. So the answer to the distance between V and B is 6. Next you would want to compute all such distances between V and E, V and C and so on and so forth. So once you compute all of these distances, then you know how different is V from the rest of the sequences. Please remember that V contains A and D. So UPGMA in conclusion is a clustering paradigm which helps you to cluster sequences together which are closest and we will continue working on this example in the later modules.